In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use and configure the Castle Siege plugin. So once you have installed the plugin and you log on to your server, you will have a select kit option and a select team option. So first, we're going to set up the spawn locations. If we go over here, slash CS team spawn ranks, they'll be spawning there. And over here, for example, we'll set Team Vikings. In this game, players join a certain team, and one team has to protect the king, and one team has to kill the king. So we'll place the king over here. So CS set mob spawn and the king will spawn in there now we're going to set a lobby so make sure to do that we're going to set the lobby inside this house over here acs set lobby that should be the lobby now for any of that to actually be set it says if you set spawns restart the server before you start so we'll take a look at the con config and then we'll reboot our server and then log in here is the console you click file manager click on plugins click on castle siege click on config here's the max amount of players 16 a timer in minutes the health that the king has this is a scoreboard on the sides this is the top of the scoreboard this is the bottom you can set the colors here the top the bottom and the main color is like how like if we go back to minecraft how many people are online it's in yellow and then it's white one so if we go over here yellow and then white this is when the how many players are needed to actually start the game or there's a command to start it automatically which i will show you if you only have like four people that are logging in you can change this to four this is the countdown for when it begins this is also the spawn location right here we're going to go out to console and then restart yes game requires seven more players to start i'm gonna go to team selector and i'm gonna join the vikings so I join the vikings it says it on the right on the scoreboard select kit these are all the kits this is for the franks and this is for the vikings i'm going to be choosing scalad it says on the right i chose kit scalad now since it's just me here i'm going to magically start the game i'm going to type slash cs start Franks must defend the king and win when the counter is over. Vikings must kill the king, lose when countdown is over. The game has started. So on the scoreboard, you can see the countdown and the king's health and who, how many players on each team. So this is king and Tawasi. Shoot with a bow. Punch. Really anything. Vikings has won king or er, Vikings conquered the castle. Shows which player killed the king. Winners and everybody gets teleported back to the lobby. So let's say if I go to Frank's and I'll just have to wait for the timer to count down and I don't want to wait eight minutes, so I'm not gonna do that. Also let's say if you're in the middle of a game so i'm going to choose the vikings again we're going to go to cs start and let's say i want to end the game i'll do cs end game game four stopped you can also do cs type which you can switch it to hardcore mode where everyone has one life you can switch it back to hardcore disabled so you have five seconds to respawn each time you die that is it Hope you enjoyed and bye.